Yeah, it's raining out there today, so obviously no harvesting. So I thought I'd do a brief uh, video clip here showing how we test the moisture content of the grain. Obviously, grain has to be harvested at a safe level of moisture unless you're planning to dry it. So, uh, this happens to be canola, and uh, generally safe moisture levels are considered 9% or lower if you're going for long term storage. And uh, that's the thermometer I'm setting in there now, just uh, as you'll see later, temperature plays a big part in this whole thing. I'm just going to clean up a little bit of this sample here. I don't have the proper canola screens, but this one will uh, sift out some of the fines and uh, make it a little more, well, cleaner basically. So we basically shake it around and around until the fine stuff falls through. Oh, I'm running out of room here. Anyway, uh, these are the canola charts. It's relatively important to keep your charts updated. Uh, this one is, as far as I know, the latest, dated July 2014. New charts can be downloaded from the Canadian Grain Commission website, uh, gc.grains.ca, something like that. Uh, what we need to do here is, uh, as you see, the charts call for a 250 gram sample. I have the old style beam scale. So you set your scale for 250 and uh, we are a little light. So we scoop up a little more canola. Oh, a little too much. a little more okay 250 grams more or less so before we can do a real test it's pretty important to calibrate your uh, tester this is the, uh, the pretty popular Labtronics 919 moisture tester as found in most grain buying facilities uh, so your calibration First thing, make sure it's plugged in. So you set the knob up to number 50, one, two, three, basically on the arrow that says cal, that's calibrate. So uh, then you set your knob to calibrate. And you try to zero that needle by rotating this little dial, this little uh, knob on the left. So we turn, turn the other way, and that's pretty much zero right there. Then set the uh, funnel on top of the tester. Dump the canola down the spout. Oh, spilled a few grains there. Probably not a big deal. And release the button. Turn to operate. Once again, you'll want to set your needle to as close to zero as possible. Once it's on zero, take your reading off the scale. This stuff is really dry. It's showing just over number five. Turn off your tester. 
run over to your chart look for meter reading number five and this is where temperature comes in and I'm thinking we could have a problem today because uh, the grain is likely below 11 degrees we'll just take a quick look here okay it's uh, between 10 and 11 so we'll call it 11 crossing down number 11 meter 5 this stuff is 6.2 moisture which is really drier than it needs to be but there you have it